So we're going to catch up with Ivan Babikov, top racer today in the top North American at the Galavar World Cup start today in Sweden. And Ivan was 14th, and that followed a, a great result as well in Brooks Valarna, Sweden last weekend. So uh, Ivan's off to a good start, and we're just going to get him on the line and chat with him. Oh. Ivan, is that you? Yeah. Today was a great day for you. Another great uh, race for for you on, on the uh, European scene. Uh, talk about your race today and tell us how it was what was out there. Well, it was really hard. First race always hard. You don't know what to expect. But I guess it, like the the main plan today was I talked to Justin, to coach, and before and the main plan was just to stick to the tactics what I had last week. Just uh, kind of ski ski smooth and powerful and. Gliding and just to save as much as much energy as I can for the last lap, and which which uh, went pretty well, I guess I think, and yeah, we're all pretty satisfied. This is not kind of my that type of course. It's really it's not not that hard. It's not many really big cockpit stage. It's all like lots of kind of one skating and like really fast course. So and uh, that's why I'm even more I'm even more, more happy with the results today. Would you compare this course to other ones on the circuit? Would you say it was kind of medium or? Yeah, I'd say it's medium. You know, like, see, it's not many places in the world where right now there is a snow. So, uh, like, I mean, this is it's still hard course. There's not much place to rest, but yeah, like all the uphills pretty short, pretty short, and not that steep. So it's mostly like power, like upper body power, and yeah. So like, it's not totally different from like let's say Kenmore, Kenmore course. It's Kenmore. Like, there's a lot of offset. Mm -hmm. Big uphills and like yeah, that, that that's the kind of stuff I really like. Did the uh, snow coming down uh, partway through the race did that have any effect? Well, I think it was pretty pretty similar to everybody. It was kind of on and off, but conditions were really fast. Like you can, I could feel sometimes it's kind of getting when when there was a fresh snow getting kind of I don't know a bit too wet and like not not that fast. But uh, it was, I think it was it was not bad, not not that bad. Did you know where you were uh, while you were on course? Because I think we heard you were like like uh, in the top ten at some point. Uh, well, I was well, I was uh, early, kind of one of the early starters. Um, there's all the big guys were behind. Sure. But the, yeah, of course, I was getting I was getting splits, but I don't think I were I was in the top ten at any moment. Like I started, like I said, I started I started really easy, smooth, and like uh, I just try not to pay attention too much to the splits in the beginning because I know I will be losing. I just tried to save as much energy for the for the last uh, last lap and come back there. So, uh, but yeah, I, I, we had like all our coaches were in the trails and like they were uh, on the trail and they were telling telling me all the splits and stuff. So yeah. Did you feel uh, you know after last weekend? Uh, I think you were fifth, right, in in uh, Brooks Lavarna. I was third. Third. That's right. Okay. Sorry about that. So after that weekend, I mean, obviously it was a good confidence builder. Did you do much difference in your training this season, or is it more just uh, the way you're approaching the races? Well, yeah, of course we did a little bit. It's, it's a little like it's not we didn't change anything dramatically. Let's say we just it was just a little you know, like the I just worked we worked harder on the on the things that I needed I needed to be worked on and. Yeah, and Justin really good with that stuff. So like, yeah, and we just kind of tune it up and just work on some tactics, like going into the race, and like that's what, what I tried last week mm -hmm. in, in uh, Bucharest. But yeah, and today I try to stick with the same plan. And uh, yeah, so that's all. It's great to see you up there, and uh, I've had already had we've had a few comments on your uh, mustache, so uh, <laughs> you're getting some approval <laughs> there, as, some approval there as well. Great. Yeah, it's all for the good cause, right? Absolutely. I think uh, I saw um, uh, Devin's as well. Uh, he, you and Devin are <laughs> maybe in a little competition there. So for the well, we're all like we're all, all team doing that. So like all our wax techs and coaches, we all have a master. So it's it's kind of funny and silly, but like it's it's all it's all good. It's all good for sure. And you guys put together a great little video, which we saw and uh, we put up on the site. Uh, it was uh, yeah. lots of fun. So yeah, we're trying we're trying to have fun sometimes. <laughs> absolutely. So tomorrow for the uh, for the relay, I understand Lenny's going to be starting. His hand is uh, uh, you know feeling better, and he's going to give it a shot. That's uh, that's exciting to uh, to see the relay uh, with with a strong Canadian team. Talk a little, a little bit about that. Well, yeah, it's like we were all, 
we all like really excited about relay. Maybe maybe the guys not not in the in the place where they they want to be at this moment. But I hope I think like relay it's so different. It's it's really different. And it's only seven point five k each leg now. So and yeah, it's we're really really happy that Lenny Lenny could do it with us tomorrow. So uh, we'll see how it goes. Well, I think the uh, you know. Uh We've seen good uh, results from from everybody so far, so it looks like uh, you guys could easily be contenders. But obviously, uh, you know, race time will tell the story. Um, are the conditions tomorrow going to be good? Are you hearing good reports? I think yeah, I think it's going to get a bit colder for tomorrow, like minus five, which is I think it's only only good for classic, only better. And for skate, it's fine. I think it's still going to be pretty fast, and yeah, it's going to be it's going to be really busy. I would say because. That so many teams and now courses shorter and like yeah, significantly better. So it's going to be a big pack, I think, for all on the finish. Um, I was talking with Justin earlier, and uh, you know the, the World Cups in Canada have to be a big uh, a big part of the the plan this year. I, I guess you're excited as well about the the new race in Quebec and of course racing in Canmore. Yeah, I won't be I won't be coming to Quebec uh, because there's only sprints there. And uh, I'll just I'll just focus on Canmore races, and I'll go back like straight to straight to Canmore mm -hmm. after Kusamo, and uh, I'll be I'll be preparing for the for the my kind of distance races. Sounds good. Well, listen, Ivan, congratulations on the great results so far, and we're going to wish you guys all the best tomorrow. We'll be cheering for the Canadians on the start line. Thank you. Thank you so much, guys. Take oh, care. Take care. Ciao.